hello people welcome back to another video so if you watch my last video when i went to the market this is the continuing video of that particular video you know i didn't show you the things that i brought from the market these are all the things that i brought from the market so i'm going to be showing you one after the other and the prices if i will still remember because this video is almost a week plus now okay so yeah so the first thing that i'm going to be showing you here is my crayfish yes i bought two paints of crayfish this is this one now that i'm opening for you is one paint so i bought it in two different nylon okay yeah so this crayfish i bought it for 4500 naira for one paint okay and the crayfish is so good very tasty and sand free okay because this is the crayfish that i'm going to be eating at home trust me if I, there's no there's nothing like sand or taste of sand in this crayfish some of crayfish some of them that you buy you just take and put in your mouth you just be pinching or biting sand this crayfish is very clean and neat so this is the second you know paint rubber or paint bucket so this crayfish that you are seeing here is nine thousand naira. okay yeah look at it so fresh let me move it closer and i don't want to waste any of those okay yeah so wastage is not in my dictionary so this is two paints of crayfish so fresh and you know fine yeah so the next one that i will be showing you people is my fish so this fish is very dry okay as you can see the fish is dry but i'm going to be packing everything inside my fridge to preserve it for longer time trust me you can even keep this fish in your house just keep it where a breeze will be touching it if you don't have light that you use and preserve it or once in a while just be putting it in the sun so that breeze will be touching as you can see the fish is very dry i've used it to cook just put it in your soup the thing will just rise up okay as you can see so i bought this fish for eight thousand naira. yeah so this is eight thousand naira. as you can see this is dried manla fish i really love it for my soup that is the reason why i bought a lot of it so the next i'll be showing you guys is my um what is it called dry bonga fish you can call it henry fish or bonga fish this is the i don't know this fish there there's a season that this fish will come outside the thing will be big but this period now this is almost the sizes of the fish in the market sometimes you'll see the one that is more bigger than this particular one but no matter how the size is is eh, i can't go to the market i see this fish with my eyes that i will not stop and buy it you can use this fish when you once you add this fish to your soup you will see the taste okay the taste is different i bought that fish for six thousand naira either five thousand five hundred either five thousand five or six thousand so that is the amount i bought that fish and i really love it so this is my dry catfish okay yeah so i bought this catfish for uh, i will be putting the price here i don't think i remember the amount i bought this week because this video is like almost two weeks now i'll be putting the price if i remember of that fish trust me the price was really fair enough okay so this one is my dry you know fish uh, crayfish some people call it prawns i mean i call it big crayfish <laughs> so this is my dry prawns in fact i love the size of this dry prawn so this one is half paint there is one paint there is half paint or half derrick uh, one derrica yeah this one is half paint let me just put it that way so this half paint i bought it for thirteen thousand. yeah this fish this crayfish that you are seeing little like this i bought it thirteen thousand naira. i don't know but it's worth it because very tasty in fact very good the 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 taste in my soup is top not <laughs> so this that is one of the things that i bought from the market so the next one that i'm going to be showing you this one is a goosey yeah this one is a goosey i bought this a goosey for eight thousand naira okay yeah this is eight thousand naira for one paint a goosey now is gold though hmm. 
if you want to buy one cup of egusi in my area here it's 1800 for one derika if you have blender in your house this pattern of buying it and keeping your house is well far more better for me okay yeah if you ask me it's far more better 1800 for the last one that i bought and is inji pillow not hand pillow if you want to buy hand pillow, just so your 2000 plus or thereabout so this particular egusi is really really good i try to recommend it for anybody that that is interested if i did egusi that my sister is cooking now because the last time that she came to my house i told her about it and she take from it and cook in fact she called me and said i have directed her away from the normal egusi to this particular one this egusi is really fine if you have not tried it before please do and it's in fact when you cook it the taste of the normal egusi so you can't really even differentiate it it's just like in fact it's egusi but this one is the small size of it and it, it, it is really good so mainly i bought the egusi i bought this pepper as well i like buying most of those things in my house because you save less when you buy things like this in your house you save less this one is dry pepper let me just show you guys so that you see it yeah this one is those small small tiny pepper so i bought one derika and blend it okay yeah so this one derika i bought it for one eight yeah so the egusi this other nylon is one derika of egusi so after blending my pepper i just asked the guy to you know measure one derika from the egusi and blend for me so that i'm cooking this evening so when i get home i will not be you know thinking of how to go and blend and you know before cooking that is the reason why i blended that quantity that i want to use and prepare soup okay so that's it that is basically everything that i brought from the market the price of things now in nigeria market is just going up and down up and down up and down sometimes you go to market and you want to buy something the things that you buy this week when you want to go and buy it next week you'll be hearing differently entirely things is not stable now if you go to the market all the time in fact it's not new it's not a is i'm just i'm not just bringing the news newly is old gist since now in the market is something else so i hope you enjoy watching this video please if you do not forget to like share and subscribe leave your comment at the comment section leave it in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this let me know at the comment section so as you can see i have some pepper inside so i added this one before this one reached half a gear thereabouts i will still go to the market because i eat pepper a lot i eat pepper a lot but me buying it small small 50 15 era in the market is will not really help me at all because without me eating cooking you know putting enough pepper in my food ah uh, even if i add fresh pepper i would like to add a little bit of you know dry pepper so guys these are all the things that i brought from the market okay i hope you enjoy watching please don't forget to like share as i said earlier okay yeah just look at everything that i brought so good if i tell you how much those things that you are seeing here cost how much these things that you are seeing here cost me you will be